Okay, guys, it feels like we've saved the best for last one more time this season. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Brad Powers. Thanks for joining me one more time in this college football today. Brad, how is your uh, holidays there? Excellent. But, uh, you know, there's always opportunity for growth in 2023. And hopefully the pocketbook uh, grows a little bit with this national championship game. I feel like you and I have been talking about TCU for basically the entire second half of the season and how the Horn Frogs results don't really match up with their power ratings. And now they're in the national championship. So have you have you changed your thoughts on them at all? And, and how do you handle them with a spread in a national championship game of nearly two touchdowns? So I'll start with my power rings. It's not like I haven't upgraded TCU. I've upgraded them as much as any power five team in the country, with the exception of Duke is the only team I've upgraded more. So certainly I went along. I, they've exceeded expectations. I've raised my power rating. But the problem is, I mean, look no further than the Michigan game. The, the final score doesn't always match up with the box score. Michigan games, yet another example of this, two pick sixes. Michigan somehow at the two-yard line twice comes away with zero points. Uh, change any one of those four big significant plays. And, yeah, TCU's the right side as far as against the spread, but I'm not sure that they're playing for the national championship here on Monday. Yeah, that's kind of how I felt, too. I think Michigan could have made some adjustments Earlier on in that game, they kind of let things go a little too long. I, I didn't like that they weren't disguising their coverages enough as well on defense. They were kind of making their motions a little early there. And I think if they had made just a few little tweaks along the way, like you said, they needed those two pick sixes to win the game um, And when it, when it was all said and done. So here we are once again, Brad. We're national championship. What What's your play for this big game? So I'm going to go derivative here, but let me first say this. I lean with Georgia, but I'm waiting for maybe a possibly a better price. Uh, I'm not sure what, what's going to happen. Obviously, a majority of the handle is going to come on game day. A lot of money came in against Georgia in the semifinal. A lot of money was on Ohio State there. So I'm waiting for a better price. Buy price for me to have a bigger bet would be 11. Maybe we'll see it. I see a couple books with 11 and a half right now. Uh, I also lean over. So we can touch the total a little bit there. I also lean over. I don't see TCU's defense stopping Georgia too much, but I'm also concerned about that Georgia pass defense that's been exposed the last couple of games. So when it's all said and done, best bet for me is we're going Georgia team total over 37 and a half here. Keep in mind, let's go to TCU's last game. Despite getting two pick sixes from Michigan, despite stopping Michigan at the goal line, not once, but twice where Michigan gets zero points, Michigan still scores 45 points against this TCU defense. And I just, I don't see a pathway to much success here for TCU's defense. I, I mean, do they pull, you know, they run that 3-3-5 defense. Obviously, they're miss, uh, there's a big mismatch at the line of scrimmage where I think Georgia can really pound at them. So do they bring that, you know, strong safety into the box? I think that exposes TCU's pass defense, especially with Georgia's, you know, found a couple of wide receivers they haven't had all season, and A.D. Mitchell and, and Arian Smith. So, I'm going to go over 37 and a half here on Georgia's team total. Yeah, that's a, I think that's a good number too. a little, a little, a bit of a key number there, right below the 38 there. Uh, I agree with the pass defense part of this year. I think TCU has been kind of covering up their warts a bit, a good, an appropriate thing to say <laughs> about the frogs there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I like this, this play a lot. I, I really don't see them slowing down Stetson Bennett a whole lot in, in this game there. I saw this stat that they rank 100. They rank 125th in passing plays of 20 yards allowed or more this season. So I think Benton, Bennett's going to have a pretty good game in this one as well. Uh, so there you have it. Brad has uh, Georgia over its team total of 37 and a half. And thanks again so much for joining me today, Brad, and all season long. Uh, you can find his work at bradpowerssports.com and you can follow him on Twitter at Brad Powers 7. Thanks again, Brad, and good luck with your bets.